Biden's polling's down the shitter, and inflation continues to balloon up. Has Joe officially screwed the pooch? This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. Summer is here, but for Joe Biden, the political storm clouds are busting open. Come on, man! Now, the Not My Party stands know I'm having no regrets when it comes to Uncle Joe versus Orangina. Why do I just bring more Joe Biden? But we gotta be real. How have his numbers tanked so badly? And can anything be done to fix it? There's always hope. Let's go back to last summer to zero in on when exactly his poll numbers began to go south. And stop! Right here, July 30th, 2021. The day he got hexed when a staffer passed along a cursed note telling him he had something on his chin. Cursed. Over the next month, his approval rating dropped six points, coinciding with the cluster in Afghanistan. But the seeds of his political weeping willow were planted earlier. The moment he signed a $1.9 trillion COVID relief package that sent the economy into overdrive. Breaks hit the breaks! It came on top of $2.3 trillion in COVID relief spent under Trump. Fake news. At the time, center-left economists like former Obama advisor Larry Summers warned that all this spending risked inflation. I think there's about a one-third chance that inflation will significantly accelerate over the next several years. Years? But the Democrats give zero f**ks about going over budget. And let's be honest, the Republicans haven't either. Both parties have consistently ignored budget hawks, like me and Larry, and the government has kept spending like drunken Kardashians with no end in sight. Doing amazing, push it, push it. But today, Larry Summers' warning looks like Biden's canary in the coal mine. Because come fall of 2021, bad luck piled on top of bad choices. The Delta wave hits, then Omicron, then Russia invades Ukraine. A rough couple of months. This comes on top of a Zoomer lifetime's worth of the math leads at the Fed pumping cheap money and politicians free spending. Fun coupon! A fun coupon! All of these ingredients baked us more inflation, rising gas prices, supply chain issues, and a wonky pandemic economy riddled with first world problems. I bought Altoids at Target yesterday. It doesn't sound like there's more than like five in there, and I'm taking the back to Target. Oh, poor baby. So as we turn to 2022, with inflation rising like Bezos' penis plane, you'd think Biden and the Democrats would want to do something about it. No, not really. Uncle Joe's getting no help from his friends on the Hill. The Senate has given up on passing human infrastructure or any other economic relief bill. Chuck Schumer seems to have spent the last six months just clipping his nails. So instead, the Biden administration has gotten a little desperate. They extended the student loan holiday, which alleviates some folks' financial burden, but doesn't help with inflation. Released the Strategic Oil Reserve. And they got daddy government to bring us some overseas baby formula, which is not my preferred solution of getting rid of Trump's tariffs, but at least it's something. It's better than nothing. Altogether, it's not horrible, but it's a bit of small potatoes. The other option? How about trying to do politics? Cut a deal. I know, totally crazy. Biden needs to get Joe Manchin and the tiny Republican vanilla mod squad over to the White House to figure out a package that will help stifle inflation and give people a little bit of relief on out of control costs. Manchin already offered one idea, lower prescription drug costs and hike taxes on the wealthy, then use the revenue to fight inflation and climate change. Not bad. Maybe there's a different deal. But until they do something, Biden is going to continue to get rained on by the critics. Even though it wasn't all his fault. I'm looking at you, Jerome Powell. Joe made his bed with the COVID package. Now he needs to do some politicking to get himself out of it. Look, here's the deal. More on that to come in the next few weeks on Not My Party. See you then. For more weekly episodes of Not My Party, smash that subscribe button.